Today, it's all about brisket. I love barbecue, and it's been a long time since I cooked a brisket. I've done it traditionally in the past on a stick smoker, but it's been a long time. And so I've got this new Yoder pellet smoker, and I'm curious to see how a brisket turns out on a pellet smoker. Is this thing gonna make enough smoke? I don't know, we're gonna see. And it's 4th of July weekend, and we got a lot of people coming over, so I've got my fingers crossed that this really turns out good. But cooking a brisket, is a long process it's a commitment and so we're going to spend the day today cooking this thing i'm going to show you guys how i do it and we're going to see how it turns out so fingers crossed that if this turns out great and i'm excited to have you guys along so let's get to cook this is that point in the video where i'm going to need you to stop like and subscribe and ring the bell so that you get notifications when we post new videos this really helps grow our channel. It helps get the word out about our channel. And personally, it helps me stay motivated to keep these videos coming to you. Do me a favor and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. Now let's get back to cooking. So it's about five o'clock in the morning and uh, getting up early because we've got some guests coming over tonight for dinner. And I'm making a Wagyu brisket. And this guy is from Mill Creek Ranch. And I'm pretty excited about this. It's a smaller brisket. Most uh, Wagyu briskets are. But we've already got it trimmed. Um, we cut off the big piece of fat here, got off most of the silver skin. And uh, this guy is very nicely marbled. Being Wagyu, uh, you can figure out how to trim these guys and there's a million different ways to trim them. You can figure out how to do it on, on YouTube. Lots of other videos about that. We're gonna turn this into beef tallow. So we'll put that in the smoker at the same time. So we're gonna season this guy up and get ready to go on to the smoker. We've got this Wagyu brisket all trimmed up. Got about a quarter inch of fat going on on this guy. Got all the silver skin trimmed off of the back. Got the skinny corners down there. The, you know, the rule of thumb is about as thick as your thumb. You wanna trim everything off because uh, it's just gonna get dry and uh, not gonna taste very good. And so we've got that all trimmed up. We've got our pounded kind of flat. And so I think we're gonna get a, hopefully a consistent cook here. The seasonings we use today, use a little bit of a uh, mustard, Louisiana hot sauce, uh, just as a binder on this guy. This is Wagyu, so I don't think we're gonna need much of a binder. Uh, then pretty simple, just Killian's salt and pepper blend just black pepper and kosher salt. And then just a little bit of a holy cow BBQ rub for flavor. Not thinking we're gonna need a whole lot of that, but uh, we're doing it on a pellet grill, so a little bit uh, nervous about the smokiness, the flavor of the smoke. But anyway, I think we're ready to go on. So it's about 186 degrees currently. I put the brisket on the yoder, got my beef tallow ready to go here. I've got the probe to the center of the brisket. Just kind of keep an eye on it, see how a hands-off cook goes. So wish me luck. We've been on about three hours. I got up about five this morning and trimmed this brisket. And it's developing pretty nicely. We're on it about three hours here. I've got my trimmings uh, here. Gonna, gonna render those down to beef tallow. Put a little bit of water in here. A few people recommended that. And basically what I'm doing is just to keep it moist, I'm just uh, hitting it with uh, apple cider vinegar and water 50-50. Just kind of keeping it moist and just kind of watching it go. After about three hours, we're hanging out. Internal temp, it says about 148, what it says here. And uh, I've got this thing at 210 right now. I've got the second probe in there, just kind of, just kind of double checking it to see what it's doing in the cooking chamber. I'm probably going to kick it up to about 250 here in a minute. We'll see. 
But anyway, rocking and rolling. We got up about 4 30, 5 o'clock this morning. So, number one, I want to uh, apologize for the video recording. My daughter wasn't going to get up at 4 30, 5 o'clock. But we got up, we got the brisket trimmed, we got it seasoned, and uh, we've got it on the smoker. We've had it on the smoker for about four hours now, and uh, it's starting to develop a bark. Uh, we're keeping a kind of a close eye on it. This is my first time cooking a brisket on the Yoder smoker, uh, really on any kind of a pellet grill. So, so this is a new experience for me. It's fun. I used to cook briskets back in the day on a stick smoker. Not an expert by any stretch of the imagination. Uh, but this is Wagyu beef from Mill Creek Ranch, and hopefully it turns out all right. So let's see what it's doing. So basically about every 30 minutes, I'm just coming in here, apple cider vinegar and water, 50-50. And I'm just making sure we keep her kind of kind of moist. Try to keep those corners from drying out. And then I'm trying to make some beef tallow here out of the trimmings. And uh, it's starting to render down. We got a long way to go on that. Uh, I've got water in here trying to kind of keep it moist also. We've got a secondary probe in here just trying to keep a, keep a secondary eye on what's going on inside of the cooking chamber. We've got the point fat side up toward the uh, stack. And we're just gonna see what she's coming along nicely. We're about eight hours on the smoke and the brisket's coming along nicely. We have been spraying it with a 50-50 mix of apple cider vinegar and water. And as you can see here, it's developing a pretty nice little bark and I've just been draining the puddles uh, as I go. But the fat is rendering down. I think that we're about ready to pull it off and wrap and yeah, let's just try that. Let's do it. Okay guys, so we're getting ready to wrap our brisket and we're going to be using uh, Wagyu beef tallow. And uh, this has been previously smoked uh, whenever I got the yoder first. You'll notice here that the, the beef tallow as compared to just Wagyu that is, compared to normal beef tallow is, is about the consistency of butter uh, at room temperature. And so I'm going to make a, a little bed for our brisket here. Go ahead and grab our brisket. Gonna bring it over. Set it down. This is fat side up. Okay, we're gonna let it get up to a temp of about 203. And more importantly, uh, we're gonna hopefully it'll start probing like butter before too long, but stay tuned. We are at about 200 degrees uh, to the center temp of the, uh, of the brisket. But more importantly, it's probing like butter, like nothing's even there. So, so it's time to take this thing out. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. And basically, you want to use your temperature probe. And I mean, you can't even, you can't even feel that there. So, so this guy is ready to come out. And so what I'm going to do is I am going to let this thing rest here until we get down to about 180 degrees, 185 degrees. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer it over into uh, probably an ice chest cooler until we get down to uh, serving temp a little bit later tonight and just let this thing rest. So the professionals say that resting is more important than anything else and so let your let your briskets rest. This was about a 10 pound brisket and we're right at 10 hours and so uh, about an hour a pound is what it took to get this thing to temp and to get the, the fat rendered and to get this thing probing right. So fingers crossed that it turns out great. I sure hope it turns out good. See you. Let our brisket rest uh, until we're ready to serve it tonight. Again, it's at about 175 degrees internal temp, so we're just going to let it just keep coming down. We're going to probably try to serve it at about 145, but it'll just stay in the cooler until we're ready to serve it. And the longer that you can rest your brisket, the better is what I understand anyway. So I'm excited to see how this guy turns out. 
Uh, got big plans for dinner tonight, so we'll see how it goes. Okay, so this is a simple little recipe. Basically, we're just gonna use, I got these uh, already pre-wrapped jalapeno poppers. They're cream cheese and bacon. I got them at Bucky's of all places. If you hadn't been to Bucky's, it's kind of a Texas convenience store legend. It's like Walmart uh, of convenience stores. So basically all we're gonna do, I'm gonna try something new today. Uh, this kind of has a real, it's called a Japanese barbecue sauce. Picked it up at Meat Church. And I'm gonna try this as our seasoning. And I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, holy voodoo from Meat Church on there as well. Also going to use just a little bit of sweet baby rays just just to get a little bit of sweetness on these peppers so I've already got some mixed up in the bowl here and we're just literally going to put a brush on each one basically just going to put them in the smoker and cook them until they're done we'll keep an eye on them but it uh, usually takes about 30 40 minutes something like that but uh, we'll keep it on them and report back and I think they're gonna be delicious. The moment we've all been waiting for, had this brisket resting in a cooler for several hours. Let's see what we wound up with. Let's see if we can do this in a clean kind of way. I see those professional guys doing this all the time and it looks way easier than when I just did it. I like that bark. It's got a really nicely formed bark on it. This is the jiggle test. Let's cut this guy open and let's see what we're dealing with. We got the point here. My flat, this was a small brisket to kind of start with, but my flat kind of disappeared to be honest with you. So I'm just gonna start cutting right on the flat. see what we're dealing with here definitely passes the tender test let's see how we pull apart oh yeah I think it's gonna be good the reason I cooked this thing up is because I had some friends over and uh, this guy Mike won't you come on over this is my not only my barber but over the years he's become my best bud so what's up, brother? So anyway, get you a little taste of this, man. See what you think. Got to have a little bit of that fat right there too, man. Get you a little bit out of that, and then we're gonna try the point here in just a second too. Is it good? Let me <laughs> have some. In your mouth. Yep. Let me have some. So again, oh, this fat got a nice. I mean, it just melts. Well, mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Boy, that's the key. Fat's flavor. Yes. Dude, that's real good. It is. All right, so now, let's see here. So here's my. These are the burn ends here. I got a few boys over here, including the cameraman. The other thing you can do is you can grab this little guy right here. That's a pretty good burn in right there as well. I'll get you some of that. <laughs> Come on, Clint. Mm. <laughs> Boy, not bad, huh? Man, that's it. All right, let me introduce everybody. I'm going to sneak in on this one, too. <laughs> wow. Got my brother-in-law, Clint. Got my son, the bearded one, Hayden. Big Mike. Got Lazaro on the camera. <laughs> yeah, that is awesome. Hold on. I'm about to cook, cut up some steaks, and then we're about to start eating, guys. This is my pops, and this is the real... He won't. He won't eat. He won't eat bad barbecue. <laughs> what do you think? 
<laughs> really good. Really good. <laughs> now y'all see where I get it. All right, guys, I say let's eat this thing. All right. Dad on the reel, you want to say a quick prayer and then let's let's get it. Gentlemen, would y'all like another beer? Yes, sir. Can I see some ID for that? <laughs> yes, my mother. Your brisket is to die for. That is awesome. The brisket is? I love it. It's Pretty good. so good. We need a bigger one next time. <laughs> what do you think, Miss Tessa? The steak is really good. It's I like how the brisket is tender. Really good. All right, happy fourth, everybody. Oh, he's back. Get that bouncer. You have to be committed to cook a brisket, and it was a lot easier being on the pellet smoker. So what are my thoughts? I thought it turned out great. Everybody that was here absolutely loved it and said that it turned out phenomenal. It was juicy, it was full of flavor, and I think it started out with the brisket that I started with. That was a Wagyu brisket from Mill Creek Meat Company. And when you start out with the best, it's probably kind of hard to mess that up. But I'm eager to keep trying and keep changing a, little, a few little things and just seeing how it turns out. But we're just gonna keep doing it and I think we're just gonna keep getting better and better and better. So I'm glad that you guys stopped by today. Thanks for supporting our channel. Like and subscribe now and I'm gonna catch you on the next one.